AI is revolutionizing the way that we design buildings, from generating unlikely concepts to creating 3D floor plans in seconds. One architecture firm is reporting that it's delivering projects three times faster with the use of AI tools. Here are some of the groundbreaking and innovative uses of AI in architecture. First up is Prome.ai, and this is a great entry platform for exploring the possibility of architectural design in AI. I've been using this for a real project, and I want to show you what I've done. Co-living Semkovo is an abandoned Soviet-era hotel high in the Bulgarian mountains. It has 200 rooms and is a dilapidated abandoned hotel, but there are a group of people who want to renovate this hotel into a modern co-living utopia. So the issue is, currently, it looks like this. The, the paint is peeling and it looks a little bit, shall we say, lackluster. But using this tool, Prome AI, you can put this image in and re-render it with different facades. So you can see here, I've given it a wooden facade and repainted the roof. From here, we've also seen how it could look during winter. And this example shows keeping it pretty much exactly the same, not changing any of the features, but just giving it that feel that it's actually been taken care of. So I'm going to show you a different example here, which is actually taking a look at my studio. So you only see this small box of the room that I'm in, but actually outside of this, it's an absolute pit of despair. <laughs> and beyond this, I wanted to see how I could redesign my studio. So I've uploaded this image of the room that I'm working in and I'm going to add in a new prompt. So you can simply select which model you want to work with. They have different models for rendering images in different situations with different styles, but I will keep it on the common and the precise mode. You can then put in your prompt. So I say a professional Then you can go ahead and generate and Currently with Prome you can generate these for free to get a taste and if you want to upgrade then you get larger image download. So let's take a look on how we can upgrade my studio. I was thinking a little bit of changing the color of the background. I think maybe black is a little bit too gothic. Somebody commented that it looks like a Soviet bunker down here. And I thought maybe I should have a bit more color. You can add in some extra words to define how you would like this to look. So you can see here that maybe I would want a blue version of my studio to give it a little bit more light airiness, something a little bit co- The design principle from the Zaha Hadid Architectural Studio has commented on the use of AI in their studio. And he said, not every single project is using it, but let's say most. I'm encouraging everybody who's working on competitions and early ideation to see what comes up and just to have a larger repertoire. So he's saying that almost every single project is already using AI. And that means in just the last year, the design process inside of the top architectural studios has completely changed. And the way that Z the Zaha Hadid Architectural Studio has been using AI is to be using tools like Midjourney, Dali, and Stable Diffusion to render out concepts. He has been saying, oftentimes they have interesting ideas and new kinds of forms and moves, and you can show them as early sketches to clients. And yes, we got called out sometimes recently, but you don't even have to do much. You show them raw and you can generate ideas with clients and the team because the light shadow geometry coherency, the sense of gravity and order is so potent and the ideas are still striking. So he's been using tools like Midjourney and Dali to generate architecture. So I have been doing quite a lot of experimentation myself inside of Midjourney on architectural renderings. So you can see these are the type of images that you can render out from, from Midjourney and they're fantastically striking, beautiful renderings of different designs. And to get wonderful architectural outputs like this, I trained ChatGPT to assist me as an architectural prompt writer. And I asked it to define a lot of the parameters inside a good architectural prompt. So you can see here like the, the composition, the use of light and structure, the coherence between the materials used are fantastically helpful inside of this rendering. There is a use of stable diffusion called ControlNet that allows you to maintain the structure within an image and overlay different renderings on top of that. And that's great if you already have a structure in mind. So these AI art generators are broad AI tools, but they can be specifically used for architectural renderings and ideation. And a little interesting fact from Zaha Hadid was that she was known for never designing a building with a right angle. And you can see all of her beautiful renderings include these wonderful organic blob-like shapes. And if you're looking for some inspiration for 
architecture inside of Midjourney, I can recommend uh, this blog article, which has a number of interior design based prompts. You can also check out other famous architects and use their style to influence your designs. A few weeks ago at a AI conference, I met Hamza Shaikh, who is a architect working with AI at the moment. And he has a really interesting Instagram page where he talks about his process and application of AI in the design process. So you can actually look at uh, some of the work that he is creating from sketches going to fully fledged renders and how this is working with his actual job as a architect. So I certainly recommend checking out his work. Next up we have Virus, which is a, another AI rendering tool, but this does something a little bit different. It allows you to generate your 3D models and then render them out all inside of the tool SketchUp. So as you can see from this example, you can easily manipulate the scene, whether that's an interior or exterior, and then render different facades on top of that. So you can see here is changing the format of the levels, and this is then being rendered out as this construct. Next up, we have VREX, which is a very interesting tool, which allows you to generate virtual reality renderings of buildings. So you can take clients on tours through architectural plans. Let us look at an example of how a virtual site visit is done. <laughs> That's very interesting. They're using an AI generated avatar for their marketing video. <laughs> it's actually a fairly realistic one, but the, the mouth movements are not so Full of how a virtual site visit is done. <laughs> it's strange how this video and the previous one both had an elderly white haired gentleman as their presenter. I think this is the cultural idea of what an architect is like these days. They are wise, they are old, they are white. The team opens VREX and arrives on the virtual site at the appointed time, just like a Teams or Zoom meeting, except they meet in the digital model. The leader. So it's like a, it's like a, a metaverse version of a, an architectural tour. So instead of actually going on site, they can go and meet in virtual reality and tour around the building. Opens the issue list and takes the group to the first location on their agenda. Segment is blocking the pathway. Their direct in the hallway to discuss the ease. So they can go to different parts of the building and discuss different design issues and actually look at them in real time. This gives you a much easier way to communicate and understand what are the potential issues, as well as making it easier to come to an agreement and make it clear what you are talking about. So what we can expect to see is also allowing people to add generative AI to these experiences. So you can be there previewing the building with your friends or your clients and asking AI to regenerate an alternative look or feel or material for this experience. Next up we have Hyper and that gives you rapid generation for interior design. So if you're creating functional buildings, you can map out how they would work in different situations. You see here, you can map out an office or a classroom or a hospital and it will plan out the rooms for those base functions. The architectural design process is being revolutionized by AI from generating visual concepts to re-rendering 3D models to creating floor plans and even calculating the carbon footprint. We can now tour 3D virtual worlds of potential architectural plans and this is not only speeding up the design process but it's also giving architects a whole host of tools to allow them to focus on creating and designing buildings rather than rendering out detailed plans. Architecture is ripe for disruption by AI and you can see how quickly this industry is changing. So make sure to check out Prome if you want to have a go at rendering your own interior design ideas. And thanks very much for watching. I also have a number of courses on AI art generators in the description below if you want to learn more about how to harness those tools for architectural intent. And make sure to watch this video next for the latest on AI.